What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! news for you guys over the new challengers. Four of the TCG uh, world premieres have been revealed. Uh, someone got them early, which, man, I wish I could get them early like that. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Uh, we have the first one, which is Fusion Substitute. It is a normal spell card, and uh, its effect is this card's name is always treated as polymerization. If you should summon one monster from your extra deck using the monsters you control as fusion materials, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one fusion monster in your graveyard, return it to the extra deck, then draw one card. Uh, yeah, this is a very good card for any fusions. I guess this would work well with uh, Elemental Heroes, of course, out of everything. Can't wait to try this card out. Looks like it is going to be a common, too, from this. So, look, good fusion card. I'm glad to see they're, you know, have more support for fusions. After that, uh, the rest of the cards are for the Ultra Athletes, and uh, so here we go. The first one we have is this UA Midfielder. It is a, uh, let's see, Earth, level 4 Warrior Monster, 1,200 attack, 1,000 defense. Its effect is you can uh, special summon this card from your hand by returning one UA monster you control to the hand except UA Midfielder. You can only special summon one UA Midfielder once per turn this way. During either player's turn, you can target one other UA monster you control, return that Face up monster to the hand, then special summon one UA monster from your hand with a different name from that monster. You can only use the effect of UA midfielder once per turn. This is a good card for them. It looks like they finally have a level 4 monster. The other two that came out before this were level 5s, so it's good to see one that you can actually just normal summon. Also, it has a really good effect like the others. I can't wait to try these out. I mean, I'm glad to see that they're continuing with them, giving more support. It's like another TCG exclusive archetype, but it's, uh, of course, a lot cheaper than uh, Burning Abyss. So, I can't wait to try them out, try out these new cards with them. After that, of course, we have another UA monster, which is a UA Goalkeeper. It is a level 6 monster, so that's kind of interesting. Warrior, let's see, Earth Attribute, 1000 Attack, 2000 1,800 defense. It's effect is you can special summon this card from your hand by returning one UA monster you control to the hand except UA goalkeeper. You can only special summon UA goalkeeper once per turn during this way. Uh, once per turn during your opponent's turn, you can target one UA monster you control once during this turn. It cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. This is a quick effect. Yeah, I guess this is one that can also help uh, protect some of your other monsters and everything. Another one that's not too hard to special summon from your hand and all, too. And, uh, again, it seems like a great addition for them. I kind of wish maybe it was a lower level or something on like that. Maybe level 5 like the others or or something. I don't know. It, it just seems like it would be a little bit better for them in a way. But maybe we'll see other level 6 ones in the future, too, that will make this. Uh, other than that, though, I really do like its effect and everything. I just kind of wish the level was a little different so it would work with the others. Also, it looks like uh, the two monsters, the UA monsters, are rares, too, from this. So... Again, lower rarity, so that's cool. And the last card we have is UA Power Jersey. This looks like it's going to be a common card. It is a equip spell. Equip only to a UA monster. It gains 1,000 attack and defense. Also, if, if, if it battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage it inflicts your opponent is doubled. If the equip monster destroys a monster by its attack, it can make a second attack during this battle phase. During your standby phase, banish the equipped monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard because the equipped monster was returned to the hand, you can return this card to the hand. Yeah, this is just a power-up card for the UAs, really. Uh, also, being able to double the damage it does to your opponent and being able to attack a second time. Uh, this seems like a very scary card for them to be using. And then also, I guess the main strategy you would do is you'd want to return the monster back to the hand. That way you also get this card back instead of the card just being banished afterwards. So, uh, yeah, it's another great card for the UAs. I can't wait to try them out, test out these new cards. Hopefully, they'll be on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro fairly quickly. And uh, this card looks like common, the other two being rare, so it looks like it'll be very easy to get these cards for them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this archetype so far. Uh, I still don't think it's near completed, and um, I'm hoping maybe the next set might have a uh, XC monster or something for this archetype. I'd really like to see something like that for them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. All the info will be in the description if you want to read these cards for yourself, and I will uh, catch you guys later. We will have a, of course, a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection case opening very soon today, too. Uh, I'll have the first part of it up very soon, and of course the uh, giveaway results, too, on that. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to those, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.